Welcome to a brief video tutorial on getting started with My Congregation. Once you've installed the software, the first thing you'll see when you open the system is the main menu. In that main menu you can see all of your options, including managing your families and your staff, searching for individuals or family groups, creating your reports, and additional email ad manager where you can also create your cover pages for your front and back cover pages for your directory and some volunteer uh, time tracking that we've also added to the software. First thing you're going to want to do is set up an administration. You put in your contact information and also just an important thing to note out is header text. What you see here is a sample header text. I might put in my um, congregation information so that this header will appear on all the reports. You can change this as you create different reports in the, in the software. And I'll show you how to do that in the, in the reports uh, section. So this is our organizational information. We have tools where we can import. If you have data from an existing system, you can import that data. You can also export our data out of the system, which is very handy when um, wanting to slice and dice the data in different ways using Excel. Defaults. When you're entering data, maybe a lot of your members all live in the same city, state, and the same zip. Even if only 50% of them live in the same area, that makes this a lot easier when you're in, entering information, as these will default into those fields for each family, and then you can overwrite them. We also have phone and cell and work as well. And the number of directories ordered, and if they're in a print or no print status when you add them. Some organizations put everybody in a don't print status first, and then confirm with families their information using our data confirmation letters whether they want to be printed. This is a nice way to um, help people feel like they have their privacy uh, respected and so that you don't print things that they don't want printed and, and made public. We also have groups, member groups and family groups. You'll notice when you'll enter information for an individual you can tie them to one or many groups. You put in the groups that you want here. So let's say I'm going to say this is the, um, we already have the welcome committee, so we'll say the let's call it the nursery school. And so you can create groups and attach people to different groups to make it easy to run reports to see who is about maybe volunteered for certain uh, functions or is part of a smaller church within a church group that you have in your, in your church or congregation or club for that matter. Some clubs also use the software and you can create different groups within your club. Family groups are by family. Um, so we have, uh, i give you an example where people have created a group called members. And these are members of the church. And they have friends of the church. And when they create their directory, they want to put them all in the system, but they want to print them separately on separate reports so that they're not intermingled. So you can create family groups as well and link your families to that. One other thing you might want to look at if your, your school uses this is called spiritual gifts. And some organizations or churches will keep track of people's special talents. Um, some, somebody might be good at, at painting or uh, teaching or child care. And let's say you want to do an all call for somebody who's really good at teaching and you need a teacher for, uh, to help out. Maybe somebody's uh, out and you need a teacher to help out. You can do an all call using our email system to send to people with certain gifts. Um, and again, member groups is also another way to do that. But spiritual gifts also helps you uh, give people uh, certain attributes as well. Letter text is for our data confirmation letters. Data confirmation letters allow us to send information to a family so that they know what information will be printed. I can preview this letter and you'll can see in this uh, data confirmation letter 
what this does is it it lets us show a family let me see if I can scooch this over what their information is and how it's going to be printed uh, this is real important if you're printing a directory because once you go to print you can't take it back so you might want to uh, highly recommend you you send a data confirmation letter to families before you go to print now this can be sent via email or regular mail but we recommend email and you can do that in our software Data file management, very important. It allows you to back up. It also allows you to, and backup is very important, to keep your, your database backed up. You don't want all that work to, to go to not for naught if you get a, a system crash or a hard drive crash. So we always recommend doing backups. And then you can restore from a backup. So these are two uh, handy features. Compact just gets rid of unused space. Sometimes databases tend to get larger than we want and Compact will clean up. There's also a delete all families. Some organizations will import data from their other systems and just use this, uh, use our software to create the directories. So they're always importing data from another system. If you're going to do that, we recommend that the second time you bring that data in, maybe you're refreshing your directory and want to, to republish, you delete all families first. Um, not just recommend, you should delete all families first. And that, that'll start you with a clean database. So that's the administration setup. As you can see, it's fairly simple. Um, you can even get started without putting any of the groups. It's, it's um, just very easy. Go to the family contact maintenance and get started adding, adding families. Now, I obviously have some data in here and I'm going to show you the information. Um, last name, of course, address information, family email, what's the primary email where we send information, their home phone, and then we have individual information, uh, the individuals of the family. So we have parent one and parent two, or this could be um, household member one, household member two. Uh, maybe there's just one person uh, uh, in, the, in the household. But you can put in their first name. You can also have a different last name. That's important so when we do have family members that have different last names from our family name that we're going to be uh, listing this family by. And other detail information about this individual. Notice I talked about the groups. Here is where we have our member groups. And you can see you can check a box and say OK. And that person will belong to now two groups. Also, here are our family groups. These aren't going, these are, these are actual members. So we'll take the box for members. And then we have that drop down for spiritual gifts. We can put in the birth date. We do not need to put in the year, occupation, and that individual's email address. Um, for the children, we have a similar amount of information. We obviously don't have occupation, but we have quite a bit other information for the children. And then additional information, date joined, maybe some emergency contact information and notes. And most importantly, um, or as important, is some privacy checkboxes. So let's say a family gives you their cell and work phone, but they don't want it printed. So you can check a box that says that's not going to be printed. Um, let's say we don't want to print their email address. They want to keep that private. But we do want to collect the email address because obviously we use email a lot and uh, we want to be able to contact them. And then our photo. Here we already have a photo. Um, to add a photo, if there was a blank, if this was a blank, you simply right click on your mouse and select load. It'll open up a window and then you'll find the picture you want to replace that with. So I'm going to, let's see, find another family photo that I want to use. And again, this is just an example, but we right clicked and so it said load and that's how we um, loaded a picture to go with that family. We can also get it from a scanner. Um, we can rotate this and we can zoom in and zoom out but that's just going to show the display or change the display here. This is a, a WYSIWYG photo uh, manager in the sense that what you see is what you get and what is going to print. We do not crop photos. Uh, we we recommend that if you're going to do that you uh, or need to do that you do that before you import also we maintain the aspect ratio of all photos so the aspect ratios uh, uh, landscape portrait three by 
four, uh, four by three, how those photos uh, appear, again, it's, it's what you see is what you get. So what you put in here is exactly how that photo will appear on all the reports. We also have a caption. So if you're printing the photo only pages, the caption will display here. And then a second address. Some people might want to put in a, a winter address or a summer address, but we do have the ability to put in a second address. So that's how you enter information. If I want to enter new family, I simply click new and it will clear out the fields and I enter them appropriately. As you, as you recall, I mentioned that when you get to the photo tab, there won't be any photos there, so you'd right click and load a photo. Now, the faculty, now it's asking me for a last name, so I'm going to delete and I'm going to get out of here. So staff, we also can maintain our staff information and details with a photo. And we can search by individual group, family groups. Let's say we want to search by family groups and we want to see who's a member and who's a friend. We simply select one of the drop downs and we see if there's any friends of the church. In this case we didn't have any so I'm going to look at uh, members. We have one member, somebody, one person's checked. So I can go in and check some more um, people, more family groups. And then we have our individual groups as well as I mentioned. So here's where we would look for individuals who are part of a group. Reports. Very briefly, and then you can watch the reports uh, demo. Um, you go to the reports menu, there's a drop down. You select the type of report you want. Let's just do, for the sake of this demo, a multi-column uh, directory report. We tick the box of what we want printed. So you can print or not print certain options. Maybe I don't want to print the anniversary, maybe I do. Maybe I want to print the kids' detail, that is email address and phone. Most people don't, but you certainly can because we collect that information. Simply click Preview for any of our reports. Um, notice we could have done by congregation or by group and we can see the information that we have for this particular family. If there is data that they selected to not print, it wouldn't print. Now, when I'm in this mode, there's a ribbon, then you can't see that, it's out of the window, that will display across the top and by sele selecting PDF, you basically just save, or you simply save this as a PDF. All of our reports are in a PDF format easily combined and easily sent to your print shop or put on your website behind a password protected page instead of printing. A lot of organizations are doing that. Now again, I'm um, just show a couple of different reports. I've got photo only. So select the report or reports you want in your directory and then you put them in and you select and, and select, excuse me, um, which ones you want. Email center. Email system, is a, this is a complete email contact manager that lets you send email out of our software. Simply select who you want to send to, create your list, and send your emails. We have our message, our, excuse me, our subject line, our from, and our message. Please see the email, uh, sending email video because it'll talk to you about the setup, the SMTP configuration, and how to use our email system, including sending data confirmation letters and the ad manager. One more thing to show you. Uh, here we can create our cover pages for our directory. Preview this. Now it's uh, this directory is sponsored by. You can put whatever picture you want. You can put text at the top and the bottom. And here's our photo. We have a front cover. We have a back cover. Let's take a preview of that. And you can save those again as PDFs save as PDF button there at the bottom. We can also put business listings. This is a handy way of adding, uh, uh, excuse me, getting money to help support the printing of our director if we're going to do that or just support the support our organization. Businesses, ad pages, and we can create a business listing. So let's preview that. So this is a nice feature 
to add to the back of your directory. You can do it all here in the My Congregation software. Support your local businesses, support your members' businesses by putting that in the back of the directory. Your, your members will be very happy. Um, some people charge for that, maybe a small fee, but it helps cover your costs for printing if you're going to print. That concludes our, our overview video of getting started with My Congregation. There are additional videos that you can view in the Support Center um, on Email Manager as well as um, sending data confirmation letters for more details and putting the directory together.